My name is Greg Bolecki, I live in West Palm Beach, and I am the father to Daisy and Daphne, who are adopted rescues from Indiana. Um, they were breeder dogs, um, siblings, sisters, litter mates, and I've had them for over a little over two years. Got them about two to three weeks after my 10-year-old terrier passed away, and uh, wasn't finding much of a reason to come home because there was nobody to come home to. So um, these two entered my life, so I'm not quite sure who rescued who. Not only do um, I support uh, rescue groups uh, throughout, um, I also initiated a, a Turtle Tuesday beach cleanup in Palm Beach. And for the past six years, we've been logging all the de debris we've been picking up. Um, so there's you know easier ways to help in the community. I mean, we just meet as a group of business people out on the beaches, five to 7 p.m. Hey, we're here in Palm Beach collecting garbage, um, uh, Turtle Tuesday. Um, we've collected over 900 pounds thus far this summer, and we're hoping to collect about another four to 500, not hoping, but need to. We are in the downside of the turtle nesting season, but South Florida is the world's largest turtle nesting ground. So it's important that we keep our beaches clean, not only for our turtles, but our tourists as well. We also have turtles that are hatching and nesting, and they need a clean path to travel to not only to nest, but also to come back. And do you know what the largest nesting ground in the world is for turtles? Right here. So that's why it's so important. South Florida is the world's largest nesting ground for sea turtles. You know the other bit that's interesting? They come back to the place they were born every year to nest. So that's why we want to keep it a clean, pristine place. All right, so we're going to give you some gloves. We're going to give you a garbage bag. Pick up only as much as you can carry back, but every little bit counts. So don't pass up the little bits because that just get, gets washed back out and the turtles ingest it and they can die. Cigarette butts are just as important as big, large pieces of plastic. You know, I think people, you know, are, are somewhat intimidated um, when it comes to rescue because they do come with history, uh, but they're loving dogs. And if, if you can't rescue dogs or, or animals, um, there's always ways to give back. And most of them keep wish lists on their, on their websites. And you don't even have to leave the house. You can order through Amazon.com and have it delivered. Um, donations are a great way to go as well. Um, and there's just plenty of opportunity to volunteer. They're always looking for volunteers, whether it be to come in and care for the animals or help out at the front desk or um, help with the fundraising. Um, most of them are a nonprofit and rely on donations to, to survive. You get emotionally attached when you go into these, these places because it tugs at your heartstrings. Just make sure you're fully committed to the time commitment that it takes to give these animals. I mean, if you're a full-time worker and you, you just don't have um, time to get away and you have a lot of extracurricular activities, it might not be the time for you right then and there, but because they do you know, require walks and outings and that type of thing, but they do give so much back in return that um, it's, it's priceless. Um, how they've impacted my life, my goodness, every day they make me laugh. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a cast of characters in the house. Um, they chase the shadow, they chase the leaf. Um, having been created their first half of their lives, you know, the outdoors is still a wonderment and enjoyment. And um, I live most of the year with the back door open, so they come and go as they please. And um, every now and then there'll be a lizard release in the house, but um, we keep it under control and to a minimum. But I can't say enough about, you know, adopt and don't shop. It's, there's so many animals out there that need homes and so many loving animals. <laughs>